This is 6 in HD. An alternative program for kids in trouble is in limbo after budget cuts. Two News reporter Sarah Goldenberg explains how an obstacle course in Muskogee is more than what meets the eye. This ropes course teaches kids that, like a harness, someone is there to catch them if they fall. 18 year old Tasha Benz has been through this course before. It's hard because, of, like, all the pressure is pushing down on you. But you just gotta keep in your mind that you're almost up there. At 14, Tasha fell into a life of drugs and drinking. She was eventually sentenced to a group home. But the judge also ordered her to complete this ropes course. This time I'm doing it because I want to. <laughs> when I did it at first, I didn't want to wake up in the morning. Woo! <laughs> Good Lord! Standing 40 feet in the air. Go, Tosh! Placing one foot in front of the other, she gained the confidence she needed to make a change. Every obstacle that I've had in my life, it's been like that. Like, I'll stop and I'll think I won't do it and I'll want to give up, but I know I can't because the people I love is down there encouraging me. You're almost there. Come on. A federal grant from Weed and Seed helped the city of Muskogee build and run the ropes course, but now that grant has been cut. A lot of the kids that come out here, not all of them, but a lot of them that come out here, they come from places when they're not exposed to, to positive role models. They're exposed to, you know, grandma may smoke weed, <laughs> you know, and, and that's what we're up against. Friday, some kids who've gone through the program join school students trying it out for the first time. Course director John Cooper hopes they'll have the chance to touch more lives like Tasha's. And she said, I have nothing left. And she sat there and she thought, wait, she says, I have myself. And she's right. That's her greatest asset. Now Tasha's surpassing her own dreams. This fall, she's starting college. I want to be a psychologist because I just want to help kids that's been through the struggle I've been through and let them know someone cares. Organizers say they'll fight to keep the program going. In Muskogee, Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you. What was that? I heard? Yeah. While many